Tacit approval is why you're poor. Does everybody understand what tacit approval is? Yeah. Um, well, why have you lived your life under tacit approval? <laughs> tacit approval is, okay, we're in a meeting. This guy's talking shit. No, I'm not in the meeting. You're in the meeting. This guy's talking shit. You know he's talking shit. You know he's talking shit, but you don't say anything. And it, 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 worst case is, and you shake, you nod your head as if to agree. Now he goes off to tell, you know, uh, Doofus and Rufus agreed with me. And uh, Doofus and Rufus say, well, you know, Rufus didn't say anything. Uh, and then you go off to your different meetings and say, well, fuck, be okay. It's even worse when you have somebody of high uh, authority like myself. That's why I step into the breach. Because I don't want to be, you know, you've lived your life with tacit approval. You haven't had the balls to open your mouth when somebody's talking to you. And your excuse will be, I'm going to get fired. We have no balls. We have nobody that steps into the breach anymore. 90% of what you hear from your family, from your friends, from your, is horseshit. The sales manager has never sold anything. But you don't say anything. Why don't you say anything? Because you got a mortgage. You, has, you got, always got a reason why you show no self-assertiveness. But I've been spit on, slapped, door slammed in my face. I just kept going door to door. Because to me, the default of being poor was unacceptable. It was, I'd rather be dead. Now see, some of you say you'd rather be dead than poor. You're full of shit. There's not a person in this room, and only that many people in 26 years in this room that would rather be dead than poor. Life is precious, right? Not to me, not if I'm gonna be fucking poor. I've been rich and I've been poor, and there's no comparison. Sally and I would rather somebody put a bullet in our head than be poor again. I lived in a caravan about this, this is no shit, a caravan about this big. Family of six. I was rich compared to her, as she would tell you, after a couple of champagnes, which isn't exactly accurate, but it's okay after all these years. But you gotta kiss frogs. Ozan Churchill have been kissing more frogs while in school than the others that come through the program in the last two or three years, full time, they quit their job and are pursuing this 100%. How is that possible? Because they would rather be dead than poor. Because they are poor. I don't care about the why. I only want to care about the what. And the reason why most of you are poor today, and not just you, but the, the, uh, the dipshits on YouTube, is because you want to know the why. Those of you that are engineers, doctors, lawyers, accountants, a few other misfit scientists types, QLA is harder for you. Much harder for you. Because you want to know the why. And I don't answer the why question. You'll start that, you'll figure that out starting tomorrow when you're at it. And I said, no, that's not important. In the infinite wisdom of Josh Kim, one of the child prodigies of recent years, he put it online a couple of years ago when he came back to the seminar and he said, 95% of the questions that I worried about uh, never happened to me in three years. He became a multimillionaire in less than three years. And he was 17 years old. One of my favorite questions I started to say at universities is, would you... Um, Want your kids, if you have kids, or are you going to have kids, to be like you? Nobody raises their hand. Zero. I've talked at 15, 20 universities. Now, one fucking person in those audiences of between three and 600 have ever raised their hand that they wanted their kids to be like you. Then I ask, how many of you would like your uh, children to be like your parents? They giggle. Somebody raises their hand. And then somebody raises their hand. I had a grandfather that I've told had big balls. It was tough as nails. I hope my kids are like him. I hope there's enough DNA still left in our string. That's why the chain of poverty is so fucking to break. Because they, kids don't do what you tell them to do. They do what they see you do. I.e., I rest my case. I wouldn't say I don't want my kids to be like my, my parents. Especially my dad, superhero. I wouldn't say that I don't want my kids to be like me. Because if you met them, they're very much like me. But they're not snowflakes. I wonder why they're not snowflakes, having Sally and I as parents. Because we're not snowflakes. Any man who reads too much and uses his own brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking. Who said that? All of Einstein. And what have you been told all your fives? Exactly the opposite, correct?
Your whole life has been lived vis-a-vis a myth of losers, pleasers. And you wonder why you haven't got shit. I've known this before I ever found this slide. Because I just, I say, well, what are all the smart, high-performance people that I've had the privilege of being around? What do they do? And so I just did the same. I copied, I mimicked, and now they call it modeled. I certainly didn't call it modeled when I was, when I was starting out. I saw what Costa Grazos did. I never saw him open a mug. I saw what Bunker Hunt of the Hunt Billionaire Boys before internet did. Read two books a day if you want to stay poor.